Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to use Prometheus and Grafana to monitor Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's start. Prometheus and Grafana are open source tool for monitoring and alerting, where Prometheus collects and stores the metric data as time series data and Grafana integrates well to provide the functionality of query as well as the visualization. We can even set up the alerts in the Grafana dashboard. Grafana has various beautiful dashboards available through which we can visualize the data. So in this video, I'll be using the same AKS demo cluster and then set up the Prometheus and Grafana monitoring. And to make it easy for everyone to follow along, I have created a blog page where I have provided all the steps to be followed to set up Prometheus and Grafana monitoring. So here are the steps which we will perform in this video. So first we'll install the Prometheus and Grafana using Helm chart. Then we set up the port forwarding so that we can access the Prometheus and Grafana dashboards. And to visualize the data in the Grafana, we need to provide certain permissions. So for that, we'll create the service principle and assign the required role. Then we'll create a data source in the Grafana dashboard and import the Azure monitor for container dashboard in the Grafana. And once this is done, then we'll have the Grafana dashboard ready and we can visualize the AKS cluster metrics in the Grafana. And in this blog, I have provided all the steps, commands, as well as the screenshots to follow. And you can find the link of this blog in the description of the video. So this is the same AKS demo cluster, which we'll be using in this video. So first let's log into AZ CLI and run the kubectl commands. I'm using the AZ CLI in Windows PowerShell to log into AKS demo cluster. So let's run the kubectl commands, kubectl get nodes and we have a single node in this cluster. So we are ready to follow. So let's go to the first step. We have to install Prometheus and Grafana. So we have to first add a repo, which is Prometheus community repo. So let's copy this command. and Prometheus community GitHub repo is added now. Now update the local repositories. It's all updated. Let's list and check if Prometheus community is there or not. And here it is. That's good. Now let's first create the Prometheus namespace so that we can create all the resources for Prometheus in Grafana in that namespace. The namespace is created. Let's check kubectl get namespace and we can see Prometheus namespace here. And we'll use the helm to install the Prometheus, which is the kube Prometheus stack in the namespace Prometheus. Let's copy this and run. This will take a minute or so to install the Prometheus and Grafana. Prometheus is installed now and we can run this command to get all the pods which are running in Prometheus namespace. And as you can see, these are the three pods which are running for Prometheus. So let's check all the resources which are created in the Prometheus namespace this run and you can see the Prometheus Grafana pod is running and other pods are also running for the Prometheus there are services which are created there are daemon sets and the deployment replica sets and the stateful set which is for collecting and storing and alerting for the data so we are all set with the Prometheus and Grafana installation let's go to the next step because Prometheus runs on 1994, so we'll port forward it to the local host so that we can open the Prometheus dashboard in the browser. So let's run. And port forwarding is done. Let's open localhost 1990 in the browser. And as you can see, we are in the Prometheus dashboard. But Prometheus uses Prometheus query language, which is not very easy to follow along. 
as you can see api server underscore request total so how many total requests are there and we can see a lot of requests which are going through we can filter this information and send it to any third party tool or we can check in the graph but still prometheus doesn't have a visualization edge so we'll use the grafana for that so let's cancel it now dashboard will stop working as you can see it's it's gone so now we have to log into the grafana dashboard but before that we need the username and password so using this command you can directly get the username but i'll quickly show you how to get the secret in the prometheus namespace in prometheus grafana so let's check hyphen o yaml we'll find out in the yaml format and as you can see here we have the admin password and the admin user and this information is base64 encoded so we have to convert this information to make it easy for you i have written the whole command where i'm using the json path to filter the data for the admin user and then base64 decoding so that you can directly get the username and the password let's run this command and admin is the name of the user and let's check the password and this is the password now let's do the local port forwarding for the grafana copy this command and let's check which port it's running on grafana and this is the port and 3000 now it's port forwarded let's go to local host 3000 and we are into grafana dashboard so user is admin let me copy the password and we are now logged into grafana dashboard let's go back to the blog so to get the metrics into the Grafana dashboard, we have to create a service principal and assign required roles to it. So now we'll be creating a service principal where the RBAC role will be assigned, which is monitoring reader onto the resource group, which is AKS demo cluster resource group. Let's copy this. Go to the PowerShell. Let's cancel. Let's remove this and copy the scope. Let's go to the AKS demo cluster, go to the resource group, click on the JSON view and copy the scope. And let's create the service principle. So we are creating a monitor reader role assignment. So the service principal password, the tenant and the application ID are created. I know this is very sensitive information and before uploading this video, I'll delete this service principal so that no one can log in and try even try logging in. So let's go to the portal and check Azure Active Directory, App Registrations, All Application and as you can see, today's date as your CLI service principle is created. And if we'll go to the Kubernetes cluster resource group and go to IAM access, in the role assignments, you can see there is Azure CLI, which is created and monitoring reader role is assigned to it. So let's go back to the blog. The output will be something like this. Let's save the data. We don't need to save the data because it's in the PowerShell output. But if you want to keep on using this, then this data has to be saved because this is the only time you will be seeing this client password. Now let's go to the Grafana dashboard. So we have to port forward again. And let's refresh the Grafana dashboard. 
and it's working that's good now what we have to do is we have to go into the configuration click on data source click on add data source and search for azure monitor and let's click on azure monitor and provide the information here so the tenant id this is the this is the tenant id let's add the tenant id application id there it is client secret which is the password and we have to load the subscription based on these secrets and the tenant id and this is the visual studio subscription i have so let's save and test and azure monitor service is queried and log analytics is done because we have already enabled the insights into the aks demo cluster if we'll go to the insights then container insights is enabled as you can see the graph so let's go back to the dashboard and we'll now go to the create and we'll go into import so we'll import the dashboard which is numbered as 10956 this information is also provided in the blog if we'll go down you can see 10956 is the dashboard id so let's load it and this is Azure Monitor for Container Metrics Dashboard. And we'll select the Azure Monitor data source which we have just created and let's import it. So this is the CPU utilization and the memory utilization which is live and other information will be soon available. The disk IOPS because we have just added this dashboard it will take some time to show us all those values. If we'll go to the dashboards and browse, let's discard. There are multiple dashboards which are available for Kubernetes. So if we'll go to the compute resources in the cluster, you can see the different dashboards where you can see the CPU utilization, memory utilization. And if we'll go back again to the browse, if you want to check the API server metrics, then you can find it here. So there are different dashboards which are available in the Grafana. That's why most of the time Prometheus is integrated with the Grafana because Grafana provides the beautiful dashboards and you can find all the information here. So to summarize what we have done in this video. So first we installed the Prometheus and Grafana using Helm chart. Then we did the port forwarding so that we can log into the dashboards. And the next step was to create the service principle and provide the required role. And then we created the data source and finally imported the dashboard. And there are multiple dashboards which are available which you can use to monitor the metrics. So that is all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.